Hey guys, Big Time Collector 01 here, back at it again with another action figure review. And today we'll be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Dark Knight Trilogy Scarecrow from the Bane Bill of Figure Wave. I got this guy at my local GameStop. I got him and Batman. They did have a little sale going on for McFarlane figures. Here you go if you guys want to scan that. Yeah, they had a buy one, get one 50% off uh, sale for McFarlane figures, and this wave was a part of it. So I got Scarecrow and Batman while I was there. They did have Two-Face, but I only really wanted to get these two because I did already get a few things that they... Here is the barcode at the bottom if you want to, you know, screenshot that. There you go. I did get this figure for $24.99. So let's get to it and crack them open. Scarecrow comes with the two arms to Bane. And before we take a look at the figure, let's take a closer look at his accessories. He comes with your basic DC Multiverse base. And then a trading card. I like this. This is, um... I, I know this isn't uh, art from the movie. This is action figure photography or a digital render. You can tell because... I can just tell. You can tell by the hand. That's the gripping hand. And here is a bio on the back. Out of the package, he comes with one open hand and one fisted hand. The open hand got a little bit of paint splotch on it, which is kind of annoying. But you can pop these out, which is kind of difficult. Replace them with these gripping hands. He doesn't come with anything to hold, but again, it's just nice to have some extra hands. So let's take a closer look at the figure. Taking a closer look at the figure, starting off with the head, I gotta say, I like this mask. It looks really good. They painted on the stitching and everything on it. It looks really nice. This little white area here, I think, is like the maggots that he had on, you know, in the movie. Which is a cool detail, but I would have, you know, rather not, you know, I'd rather have it, you know, not there. You can see the eyes through the mask, which is really cool. I think that's awesome how they did that. You get this little noose around the neck, which is really cool. I do like how that looks. But the main attraction is this straight jacket. Like, look at this thing. It is detailed as hell. I love this thing. And not just in sculpting. Look at the, look, this thing looks so dirty. I love it. Like, it's so, it looks so realistically dirty. Like, I feel like I'm going to get, you know, I, I feel like my hands are going to get dirty from just touching this thing. That's how good it looks. Like, McFarlane can make, like, some really good looking figures just with the paint and sculpting on the figures, man. It, for 20 bucks, this is awesome. I really do like the detail we're getting on the straight jacket. Just look how dirty it looks. And it's just amazing. It looks awesome. I can't, you know... Stop talking about it. It's great. Taking a closer look at the jacket, you can see all these different things. You can see, like, the stitching. You can see all these buckles and straps on it. Overall, really good. I really do like it. These are, you know, little soft pieces that, you know, they hang. Just cool. Again, really well detailed. I really like this straight jacket a lot. Moving down to the legs, this is a, you know... You know, his suit, which is cool. I do like how, you know, the contrast from the straight jacket to, like, the suit pants. The suit doesn't continue all the way up. It's just, you know, this little half part right here. But it's cool. You get these pinstripes sculpted on. You can, you know, you can hear it with my fingernail. Looking good. You know, he has his shoes painted black. Again, they look like leather, which is really good. Overall, the paint and sculpting on this guy is really good. Now let's take a closer look at Scarecrow's articulation. His head is on a dumbbell joint and can it look up that much? Can it look down that much? Can it look, you know, all the way around and tilt? Shoulders move out that much. They move down and they rotate. He has single jointed elbows. No bicep swivel, but he does have an elbow swivel. Holding this down for a minute, he has the, um, you know, the McFarlane... Uh, wrist balls that can rotate and they don't they do hinge but it's kind of hard with this this whole big sleeve in the way this straight jacket is one big rubber overlay that can crunch down that much can crunch back that much you know and you can do the pivot and rotate like that he gets a pretty decent spread legs kick out that much they kick back some 
double jointed knees that bend in that much. And McFarlane ankle balls that move down, up, rotate, and pivot, and have toe articulation. Measuring Scarecrow out, he comes to around seven and a quarter inches tall. And then here he is next to the Arkham Knight Scarecrow. Here he is next to some Batman movie villains. We have the Riddler and the Penguin from the Batman. And I would love to see Scarecrow in this, you know, Batman movie universe. It would be awesome to see him. Here he is next to some other Batman villains. And then here he is with some live-action Batmans. We have Ben Affleck from, you know, Justice League. Michael Keaton from the Flash movie. Robert Pattinson from the Batman. And the other Ben Affleck from the Flash movie. And then here he is next to his wave mate. We have the Heath Ledger Joker. And here he is up on the rotating base. And I have to say, this is a pretty okay figure. It's not the best, but damn... I gotta say, the the texturing and paint on the straight jacket is phenomenal. It looks realistically textured and dirty, and I absolutely love it. The head sculpt's pretty cool, too. And I do like the texturing on the suit pants. That is probably... I really do like that contrast. He doesn't come with many accessories. He does come with those gripping hands, but with nothing to hold. But we did see him riding a horse in this suit. So you can put him on the Dark Knight Returns horse or some other McFarlane horse that's out there. It is a pretty cool looking figure. I gotta say, he's probably the best looking out of the wave with all that paint and texturing. But he is the least articulated and, you know, especially with those hands, it's hard to, you know, interchange them with those sleeves. But I gotta say, it's still a good figure. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.